guys welcome back to the vlog channel i am with hector today so many people have been asking about you <laughs> he's just been busy working during the week but we are at sweet aloha bowls it's a place here in royersford pennsylvania if you're local and they have like smoothie bowls and smoothies and i have been addicted lately so we're gonna go get some bowls and i don't know what else we're doing today but super hungry so this is gonna be my breakfast It's gonna be packed because it's Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm, how good is this? And I love the blue color. It's so pretty. So mine is pineapple and blue spirulina. That's why it's blue. And then I have kiwi, chocolate chips, um, hazelnut butter on top, and some strawberries. And then Hector got the acai bowl. And he has bananas. I think those are like goji berries or something. Almond butter, coconut shreds, and granola. Oh, and mine has granola too. So, love it. Last time we came here, Hector didn't like his. So, let's do a taste test and see if you like yours this time. I gotta get that picture. Oh yeah, I gotta get one too. I came here on Friday with Ashley and I got this one and I loved it. Mmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I love that blue color. Mm. These berries are good. They're a little sweet, but they're not like too sweet. Though. Are they like goji berries? Similar. Mm. Better? Yeah. Last time he got, uh, what is it, pataya? Yeah, I think it was. And then he said it was way too sweet. He didn't like it. It was. I think it was. Yeah. Now we are about to go to my favorite place on earth, TJ Maxx. Not that I need anything from here. Hector wants to find some uh, jam. That's like our excuse to go out. He wants to find some natural, organic jam. <laughs> so we decided to go to TJ Maxx. Like anything, any excuse, any reason, we find to go to TJ Maxx. Actually, they're not open yet. It's only 10.40. I think they open at 11 because it's Sunday. Oh my goodness. This is about to open up soon. I'm so excited. And then Ross is going to be right here. And then TJ Maxx is right next to it. You know what that means. So what are we doing? We're going to Target. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we don't need anything from Target, but we're going to go to Target just to kill some time. We have like 20 minutes. There's definitely other people here in the parking lot waiting to go into TJ Maxx. So like I am not the only person addicted to coming here. Okay, little makeup of the day. I'm kind of squinting a little bit because I actually don't have my contacts. I've ran out of them. So I'm really hoping that this week I can go and like get like a couple pairs like to last me like for the week because I have to order them and they usually take a couple days. But anyways, yeah, I don't have my contacts in right now and I don't like wearing glasses when I have makeup on because it ruins my makeup and I've tried like everything and it always ruins it. Like I get the glasses marks right here. But anyways, um, yeah, makeup of the day, super simple. Lashes are Kiss number zero one and I'm just wearing a clear gloss from Essence right now which you can get at Ulta. And my highlighter is Ofra's Rodeo Drive and I also mixed a little bit of the Sila Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Brilliance and then my foundation is the Maybelline Urban Dream Cover foundation and yeah, brows normal bronzer Fenty bronzer so just in case you're wondering this is like my simple everyday makeup This is so staged it's so funny <laughs> Oh this mirror is dirty but this is my little simple OOTD if you care. <laughs> I'm just wearing the shirt that I showed you guys that I got in, in my Burlington shop with me. I just had a brain fart. Yeah, this is from Burlington. These shorts are from Levi's. I actually don't like these. Like, I like them. Like, they fit cute, like, in the back and everything. But I hate the buttons right here because this one keeps getting undone. And it's really making me angry. So, I don't love these. But whatever. I bought them, gotta wear them. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing flip-flops, which these are actually from Target. So that's my simple outfit. My hair is not done like always. I'm just wearing hoops, and I think I got these from Walmart. We found the goods. I didn't get your face in it. <laughs> Wild blueberry. Hey, yeah, looks good. Hard pass for me, but 
I'm not big on like jam and like peanut butter. It's just, it's not my, not my vibe. Let's see what else they have. I love their coffee here in the fall. I'm not much of a coffee drinker in the summer, but in the fall and winter, I do like it every once in a while. So I've pretty much been eating oatmeal like a lot during the week and I love adding cinnamon to it. And this one looks really interesting, Vietnamese cinnamon. Apparently it says it's the most potent, richest and sweetest cinnamon in the world. So I'm sold. It is only $4 for this big thing of cinnamon, so I'm gonna get it for our oatmeal. All right, we're all done at TJ Maxx. I didn't really get anything super exciting, but I'm still gonna show you, Avi. So, I got some treats for Bernard. These are the pumpkin and cranberry flavor. Just really small little dog treats. He really likes a lot of the treats that I always get him. He's not picky at all. He literally will eat anything. Like, it's ridiculous, but yeah, these were only $3, so I figured I'd get these for him. And then I also got him a new toy, even though he doesn't need another toy, but he loves stuff like this. It's probably gonna be all ripped up and gross in like a few days, but whatever. This was only $6, so I just got him that. And I actually had two coupons for TJ Maxx. They sent me like a $20 rewards thing and a $10, so I literally didn't pay anything for this stuff, which is great. Because <laughs> um, I shop there so much, they always send me stuff in the mail. And then I did get the Vietnamese cinnamon, like I showed you guys, for the oatmeal in the morning. And then I got this for Ashley, because she has a baby boy. And it's just a bunch of bibs. So it's like the first of everything. So like first birthday, first new year, first Valentine's Day. Some of these she probably won't use. Like there's a, which one is it? Like Father's Day she probably won't use. Fourth uh, of July already passed and she probably won't use Hanukkah, but she could always use them for like, you know, like just random, like just spit up. But yeah, that's all I got. And these were $13 for 12 bibs, which I thought was good, so. That is everything. So now let's go to Giant. Because we just gotta get our usual odds and ends. And that is it. Yay, Bernard! Yes. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Bernard! <laughs> How excited! <laughs> Alright, ready? You sit. Sit. Bernard, I didn't say it. <laughs> Bernard. Oh, I love when he does that. He like nibbles at it. It's so cute. Stinky breath. <laughs> Good boy. He just took a big fat poop. <laughs> love that. Scoop it up. Throw it out. Oh, I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. I cannot deal. What is that? Oh, you little teeth. Um, okay, update. There's literally no birds here. Like, not even one bird came to our little bird house, or bird feeder. So we thought, we don't know how to make them come. Make sure you guys keep your pets nice and cool. <laughs> Cute little boy. Do you love it, don't you? <laughs> okay, so it is a little later in the day. I did film my laser hair removal q and I'm about to edit that right now. It's not very long compared to a lot of my other videos, so I'm going to edit that and hopefully get that up tonight. I wasn't going to film because I didn't think I was going to have time, but I ended up getting it done. So I'm going to try to get this up. It's going to be a late night upload. I've been uploading early, but... You know, sometimes stuff happens, but I'm gonna work on this and then probably maybe go to the gym. If not, I'm just gonna relax because honestly, I'm exhausted. Hey guys, happy Monday. I am about to go to the gym and go grocery shopping. This is me and my mom's usual Monday routine. I filmed a video this morning. It is importing now. I'm gonna edit that and 
that's it. So I went out to combine today because I didn't really do much yesterday. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna make a quick little sandwich. I really like these sandwich skinny. I get the multigrain ones. These are great. I just find these at Walmart or any grocery store. And I'm gonna do one piece of chow cheese, which is my favorite vegan cheese. It's so good. It literally tastes like American cheese. It's 60 calories per slice, which is pretty high, but I'm just gonna do one piece. And then I'm gonna do two slices of this tofurkey ham, which is actually pretty good because the serving size on this is five slices and I never even use five. So I'm gonna do two of these and just make a little sandwich. Oh, I forgot my condiments. Instead of using mayonnaise, which I typically do, but I ate a lot this weekend, I'm gonna just stick to something a little bit healthier. I'm gonna just do half of an avocado on it as my condiment. I don't really like this spread to be like super crispy, just like a little bit, like a little warm. So I'm gonna just make this really quick. My mom's literally probably like a minute away, so I need to hurry up. Look at this beautiful avocado. Oh my gosh, this is perfection. I'm gonna just do this half and then I'm gonna save that half. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't look that great, but it's actually really, really good. And then I'm also gonna have some grapes on the side and these are super crunchy. They're my favorite. So this is my little lunch. Hi, Bernard. Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> okay, so I am back from Aldi and I figured I would show you guys a little mini grocery haul These are pretty much my essentials that I get every single week. I mostly go to Aldi for fruit some veggies and almond milk because I use almond milk a lot. I've been going through it a lot actually more because I've been eating oatmeal like almost every single day and It's so cheap there. It's literally like less than two dollars. So I always get Essentials from there. So I got this box of stuff and then I also just got this little mini box of some fruits and veggies So let's get started with a little haul. <laughs> okay, so first I got a big bag of spinach I get this every week because it's literally like a dollar 19 like it's super cheap and I use this for smoothies or just different meals I also got this big bag of oranges for only a dollar 89. Look at this and they're huge I love oranges in the morning or for like a little afternoon snack so I got these and then I also did get a nice big bag of peaches. I think these were like two or three dollars. Super cheap. Hector actually loves these as well. He's not a big fruit person, to be honest with you. Like, he's really picky with his fruit. But peaches are some of his favorites. So I had to get a big bag of these. And then I also did get just some green beans. I love these with burgers or just with like potatoes or anything. So I think this was only like two or three dollars. So such a steal. And then here, more fruit and veggies. I also got this bread. This is whole grain white bread. I was really excited about this because I'm not honestly the biggest fan of whole grain bread. Like I have to be in the mood for it, but typically of course white bread tastes so much better, but it's not good for you at all. So I saw this whole grain white and I was like, let me give that a try and I'm not, big on eating a ton of bread lately but whenever I eat a sandwich or if I just want like avocado toast I wanted to get like a bread for that so this was only $1.89 as well then I got this huge bag of cherries and you guys are gonna die this was only six dollars and it's like filled to the top and if you guys know cherries are super expensive they are seasonal so I always splurge on them in the summertime because they're so good they're my favorite fruit in the summertime and this is gonna be gone in two days not even kidding. I also did get four honey crisp apples. These are so good. They're my favorite because they're really crispy and sweet. And I think, I forget how much those were. They weren't that expensive, but definitely like two or three dollars. And then I also got a head of broccoli, or actually this is like two heads of broccoli. And I think this was only like three dollars as well. I got some bananas for my oatmeal in the morning and these are always super cheap. I literally paid like a dollar twenty for them. And then I got a little container of strawberries and I think these were like three dollars. And these are really good too, just for a little snack. And of course, had to get my watermelon. And this was only $3.50, which is such a good deal because watermelon can be really expensive. Even at Walmart, it's like pretty pricey. And I can always tell if it's a good watermelon based off of like this white part right here. That's like the juiciness. Also, I wanted to share this candle with you guys. White Barn Butterscotch Toffee from Bath & Body Works. It smells so freaking good. I got these on sale and I had a coupon. This is English Toffee, Buttery Caramel, and Touch of Bourbon. So I'm not really big on like maple syrup kind of scent but this has like a really sweet warm scent and it's not overpowering at all it's like just a really warm cozy scent it kind of just reminds me of fall and i am obsessed so if you're at bath and body works you need this don't mind this messy closet but these are some other scents that i really really like french baguette and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow again also from bath and body works they smell amazing not too sweet, but sweet enough. They literally just remind me of fall, and I am obsessed. So it's pretty much all that I have. 
so good. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make these Beyond Burgers, which are my favorite. I get these at Giant. You can also find them at Wegmans, Whole Foods, pretty much any grocery store I think has them nowadays. So I love them. 20 grams of protein, it literally tastes like a cookout burger. So good. So I think I'm gonna have one of these. Now I've been eating mine a little bit different. I've been eating my burger, just like one burger with a little bit of seasoning and some steamed broccoli. I kind of just cut up the burger. I'll show you guys everything, but I cut it up and then I just have it with broccoli. I don't know, I've just really been enjoying it. So I don't use like a bun or anything or ketchup. I literally just have the burger with veggies and I've really been loving it. So I'm gonna make this for myself, Hector and my dad. My dad literally is obsessed with Beyond Meat, like it's his favorite. I'm also gonna make some sausages for them as well. And these are also really, really good. 16 grams of protein and it tastes like a hot sausage. Like it's delicious. So I'm gonna start dinner and put the groceries away. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. So surreal. Think I want you here. Oh, 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 I don't ask for much. No, I don't need that much. Yeah. So this is what the burgers look like. It literally looks like real meat. It's crazy. I make holes in them just with a knife because I like to add some seasoning to it. It doesn't need much because it already does have a lot of flavor, but you guys know this is my favorite seasoning. Again, from Aldi, the Table Blend Salt-Free. This is so good. And then I've also really been loving their original Stone Mill Salt-Free seasoning. It just has a bunch of really good stuff in it. So these are so delish. And then I just got this also from McCormick. This is actually from Walmart, but it's pink Himalayan salt with black pepper and garlic this is really really good with veggies or just like really anything delish so I'm gonna add a little bit of this and a lot of this because I love it on my burgers and then I'm gonna steam my broccoli and have that and I like to spray my pan with some extra virgin olive oil this is my fave okay so this is what the finished product looks like I know it probably doesn't look that great and I don't know what honestly made me want to make this in the first place like two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago but I've been obsessed with it ever since. It's so good, super easy, and I get my veggies in along with the burger, so love it. So if you made it to the end of the video, you are in luck because we have a giveaway. So one person will be winning all of these goodies. This is just a little thank you giveaway for all of the love that you guys show me on this channel. Even though my vlog channel is much smaller than my main channel, you guys still show me so much love and I really, really appreciate it. So. These are all of the goodies. I tried to include a little bit of everything like eyeshadows, lip products, face products, some skincare, and just like a little mix of different brands as well. Don't mind me, I've been on the computer all day. This is literally bedhead, but I wanted to just make a quick little announcement. So I've been getting a couple of comments lately in my giveaways saying that my giveaways are fake. I know I don't have to explain myself, but I just don't like when people question my integrity or my character because it's not me. I would never host a fake giveaway. I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, I've never ever done that and I'll never do that. I don't see the point of that. I just, I could never even imagine. That's never even crossed my mind. Whenever I host a giveaway, it is 100% real. Some of the prizes are sent to me and I decide to give them away because you know I am so fortunate with so many products that I don't need so much makeup and other things I do by myself, but I do ship everything out myself with my own money unless stated otherwise, unless I am like collaborating with a brand and they are taking care of the shipping expenses. But when it comes to, I would say 90% of the giveaways, I always pay for everything and I ship your prizes out within a week of you winning and responding back to me. So. If you don't believe me, that's fine. Please do not enter. Please do not be negative. If you don't win, please don't be bitter. Let's just be happy and positive. At the end of the day, it's just makeup and I'm going to have plenty more giveaways. So like, don't sweat it. It's going to be fine. I have lots of things coming up for back to school. I want to do gift cards and a bunch of different things. So just be patient, be kind and spread positivity. That's all that I ask. If you're going to be mean, nasty, bitter, accuse me of things, then I'm just going to block you. So like, you know, it's not even worth the stress. It's not even worth your time. So like, don't do it. And also, in my last giveaway that I hosted on my channel, my main channel, I got so many emails regarding the giveaway. I guess the way that I worded it in the video, it was wrong. I said to like, leave a comment and leave me an email. And I guess uh, some people thought that I meant 
send me an email, but when I say leave me an email, I mean leave me your email so that if you're the winner, I can contact you. Please, 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 please do not send me any emails regarding the giveaway or anything. I do not open emails or respond to emails unless they are business from brands because that is specifically what that email is for, my juicy jazz at yahoo.com. That is not for personal or anything. If you guys have a question, just leave me a comment and I know that I can't respond to every single person. I do try my best to, but I do get backed up with comments because I do upload very frequently, especially on my main channel, but I do try my best to get back to as many people as possible. Just please, please be patient. There's so many YouTubers who have like assistance and stuff to help them out. And for me, it's literally just me on my own doing everything. So it does get a little overwhelming, but please be patient. Please do not email me about the giveaway. Everything is random and yeah, winners are chosen on a random generator. So I don't have like any favorites or anything like that. So just something to keep in mind, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below if you guys are interested. So make sure you check that out. And I will leave the winner in the description box and I'll probably pin a comment of the winner as well. And I will contact you via email or via DM. So yeah. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I love you all so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.